Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and taking care and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. So today I am joined with a special guest, it is Go Doctor Who. Hello, hey, <laughs> good to be back. How are you doing, are you not bad? Yeah, I'm not bad, thanks, yeah, just uh, excited to talk about some more Doctor Who goodness that we've had been looking around. <laughs> So yeah, um, the last time we spoke was way before Power of the Doctor. I think it was just a few weeks before. So I guess we'll start quickly talking about that. So what did you think of Jodie Whittaker's regeneration episode, Power of the Doctor? Um, first time watching it, the hype definitely took over me. I was like screaming like a fangirl when the classic Doctors come back and, you know, the regeneration i knew david yeah. was coming but it was like that doubt in your head and then the second time watching it i think i enjoyed it but obviously there's bits of it where you could see are but i still think it's a solid story uh i think it worked to the best of its ability of what it could do but i'm a bit obvious to shame with lots of uh like with lots of others about no time's child but i also feel like that wasn't the story that was being told. That was a, that. This is a different story, and I feel like the Times Child might have dampened dampened on this story. Yeah, so I think I, I think I'd pretty much agree with that completely. I think on first watch it was an excellent episode, and on rewatch I still really enjoy it. I still think it's probably Chris Chibnall's best episode in my opinion. It's really good, especially the classic Doctors. Uh, the return of Ace and Tegan, the regeneration that was done really well. Although, yeah, I would have liked the Timeless Child to be given a bit of a conclusion, but I guess the vibe Chibnall was going for is it's a mystery, it's creating new mystery for the Doctor, and it's going to be left unanswered until the foreseeable future, if we ever get answers. But obviously, the biggest moment was the ending, the regeneration. So what did you think of the regeneration? Did you think it was a good ending for Jodie's Doctor? And obviously the reintrodu reintroduction of David Tennant? Uh, I, I loved it, to be fair. Like, I thought it was brilliant scenery and stuff like that. I uh, I still screamed when I first saw it, but I, I, when you see it as well, it just makes you like, I don't know, it puts a smile on your face, I guess. It looks cool, I think. The clothes change, and obviously we won't get into that with the controversy, I guess. But like, trickster wise, I feel like trickster wise, um, toy maker wise, I feel like that could be a valid thing. But either way, it looks cool, and yeah, excited. Yeah, same for me. I think David Tennant coming back, it's just fantastic to see. What do you think of David Tennant returning? Because obviously. It has been a bit divided within the fandom. Some, some people love his back, some people really don't. So what's your opinion on David Tennant coming back as the new 14th Doctor, so new incarnation? Uh, I, I love it. I, 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 like, I know a lot of people don't, but that for me, I grew up. My first episode was a David Tennant story. So for me, that is pinnacle Doctor Who. And I'm, I'm not saying, oh, it's the golden era bringing it back. Sort of thing. I'm saying it is like, for a 60th year, you're going to do nostalgia, and I'm just so glad it's him. But um, it, with Doctor Who fans, we like to pick at things. And because we've got so much of a year gap, I, I, I think a lot more positivity was, an, was a thing when he was announced. I think a lot more positivity was like, oh, my God, it's David. And now we've got a year gap. We're starting to pick at it and go, oh, no, it's a bad thing. And it's like, we just need to wait until it's out. It's going to be amazing. Just just wait. <laughs> what I like about it is it's something different. So normally for anniversary stories, it is multi-doctor and they're great. But bringing an old doctor back as a new doctor to me, is like really fascinating. We've never had this situation before. And I hope in the 60th anniversary, they build on that and they have the doctor trying to figure out how to deal with this change going backwards. So I think, you know, I'm the same. I grew up with the David Tennant era, so David Tennant coming back is great. Plus, we know as well that Peter Capaldi, he's said he doesn't want to come back for the anniversary. Um, so really, with Classic Doctors being in the centenary as well, Russell might have not had that many options anyway, so we might have not been able to have a multi-doctor story as we would have all wished for in the first place. Yeah, I mean... Um, I kind of feel like it's strong that all the classics were used, so maybe they wouldn't use them again. But I also feel like 
Chris Frackster and Peak Powdy are guaranteed not to be in it. I feel like they're they're solid, but Jody could peer in some way. Like I have an idea in my head of basically if because we've seen Shooty look similar to where the classics were, maybe Jody in like robes to maybe cover because she was pregnant at the time or whatever. Uh, maybe she's helping the Sh- Shooty Gatwa uh, whilst he's there, sort of thing. So we could maybe have some sort of multi dot story in that way in my eyes that could be a thing i would like that to have like jody uh, jody cameo and also you know the big one here is like matt smith because he's like the missing puzzle because i think matt smith would easily come back i don't think he would say no and i, I believe he had the availability when they were filming the 60th anniversary so i would really like matt smith to be involved, even if it is just a cameo, it would feel strange if Matt wasn't involved because he's only the only other doctor I think who would come back. I think Peter obviously has said he wouldn't. I probably do believe him. Unfortunately, I don't think he'll return, but I definitely think Matt would be up for it if he was asked to do it. Yeah, I think Matt Smith is. I know he's stated like no, sort of thing, but I've seen a YouTuber actually find his schedule and stuff like he was free for a big chunk of the filming of the 60th and he had his hair back as normal so yeah it does look interesting and like definitely it, it could happen which would be cool i think episode two no one knows what's happening so it could be a good slot to put him in maybe. all we can do is hope that matt is involved but moving on to talk about the big series 14 that is about to start filming we believe in a few weeks obviously just last week we had the new companion announced who is millie gibson so what did you think of this announcement have you seen her in anything before uh yes coronation street i think she's really good in it to be fair. um i actually have watched her in it and like she does have a range of acting like she can do happy sad angry and I guess, devastated. It looks really... She's a really good actress, to be fair. So, um, Doctor Who is lucky to have her, and she's lucky to be in Doctor Who. I think she's going to work quite well. And she seems to have a good connection with the new Doctor. Yeah, because I've never seen Millie in anything before. I haven't seen her on Coronation Street, but all the feedback I've seen has been positive, saying she was very good in Coronation Street. And obviously, we've had the videos with Millie and shooty and i definitely get the impression they're going to get along quite well i I get a bit of a karen gillen vibe from millie just because of the way russell was speaking about her being the next generation like it sounds like he believes she's going to be the next karen gillen who goes on to do marvel and all this big sort of stuff so i definitely think millie probably has a strong future and doctor who does sound very lucky to have her yeah, I think Doctor Who do, it does have the opportunity to open doors as well. So it's like, it's definitely going to benefit her. And I think what a better show to arrange her acting than Doctor Who. It's going to definitely be cool. And Russell's writing, it's going to be phenomenal. So yeah, I just hope she has a good, strong, uh, strong family dynamic, to be fair, because I do miss them. I probably think because Millie is only 18, I hope that means that we're going to get like the families back so we get her parents in the show because that's something I really do miss is just the family dynamics in Doctor Who because, yeah, we got to know Yazzie's family a little, but they they only appeared, I think in the end it was like four episodes, if even that. And I really like there to be a return to the family properly dynamic where we get to meet the companions, family and friends properly and they become a big part of the show. That is something I really have always missed since the first Russell T. Davis tenure. Yeah, I think it just, it brings something to the companion. It's like with Dan, you got to see his family for like, what, five minutes, but you're like, oh yes, I like this. Yeah, you I was like, oh, I like this um, dynamic. You never got to see him again. It's like, oh, you need, it definitely needs something to bring you back home. It's, it's like you may be going on all these adventures, but you need something to bring you back home as well. And um, I don't know, it makes it more of a, an event to be in modern day, I guess, like Donna and Rose's family strong, whereas uh, Amy didn't really have a family. And when she did, it was weird. So it's like um, you definitely need to 
get that done quick time so um, the audience can relate, I guess. Yeah, I think something that Russell has always done well is world building. Like he can bring all these characters into it and just make them so relatable and make the world feel so real. What would you like to see from the new companion? Would you like them to be from modern day again? Would you like them to try something different? I think they are going to be modern day. I, I don't know. Like, I I thought it was a great opportunity with Jenna Coleman being uh, in the Victorian era. I thought that might be interesting. But I don't, I'm, I'm not fussed. If it is modern day, it is modern day. So, whereas a lot of people tend to be less bored of that now. I think it's just like, I'm down for it being modern day, I guess. I don't mind. It would be awesome if it was something different, but I'm cool with whatever happens really with that. I'm the same here. I'm not really too fussed. I would like them to be from the past or the future, just because we've not had a companion from the past or future yet in New Who which is a bit crazy because it's been going on more than 15 years now. But um, if the, they probably will be modern day again because I believe, Ru especially with them now rebuilding Doctor Who, a new fresh start again, they'll probably want the companion to be from modern day so that the audience can have that relation. So I get that Russell probably will make them from modern day again. Yeah, I think it might be from Liverpool again because I swear she said it when she got announced, she was like, oh, mom's from Liverpool, so... She might be a Liverpool character, I don't know. That'll be interesting to see where she is, though, if she is in modern day. I'm sure we'll get an indication, because obviously they're about to start, it was confirmed in Doctor Magazine, they are going to start filming in December. So I believe as soon as they start filming, we'll get an indication where she's from. What would you like to see next year? Would you like to see the Christmas specials come back? There's a lot of speculation we could get a return next year. Uh yeah, definitely Christmas. Um, it doesn't feel the same without Doctor Who, so definitely would love a Christmas special, even if it's not even that Christmas related. You know, just have a Christmas tree in the background. So then I'd love Doctor Who to be on at Christmas. It's definitely a better vibe than New Year, I feel. I, I agree, because it feels weird this year for the first time since 2005. We're not getting any Doctor Who, which isn't the best feeling. But um, I feel hopefully next year, because we know we're getting a festive episode of some sort next year, I hope it means it's coming back to Christmas because the New Year's Day specials, I feel, have been good, but it's just not the same feeling having them on New Year. I just feel Doctor Who is much better suited on Christmas Day. And, yeah, I really do miss it being on Christmas Day, watching it with family and stuff like I used to. So I hope they do make a return next year. Yeah, same, to be fair. So then moving on to obviously the series itself, what would you like to see from Shooty Gatwa's first series? Like, is there anything you would like to see in particular happen in the next series of Doctor Who? Um, I feel like he might be a bit more alien. I think he'd be a bit more like Matt Smith in a way. I feel like I could get that energy. Or plus, I swear he's what he's been told to watch some classic episodes and I've heard him say, so maybe he might be picking up on Tom Baker or something like that, you know, just like the weird wacky side. So I think he might be a bit like that. And yeah, I can't wait for his dynamic. I feel like definitely can't wait for him to bump into companion Christmas time. And then let's just go on some fun adventures. I, I hope one thing I want from the new year is more episodes because I'm greedy. So I would love 10 episodes or 12 episodes. And yeah, definitely with the Disney budget, that'd be cool. Well, we know from Doctor Magazine that there's at least going to be seven episodes in this series. So I hope that means we're going to get 10 episodes at least. And obviously, recently, we have a lot of rumours now we are going to be getting spin-offs. So moving on to that subject, what spin-offs would you like to possibly see in the next few years? Because it does seem, especially since the Mirror are now reporting it, it does seem we're going to be getting spin-offs in the works very soon, hopefully. I'm not that keen on the monster spin-offs I've heard of, though. To be fair, that's why I haven't made a video on it myself. Like, I was like, huh? I, I like the idea I saw of one YouTuber, um, I think it's Philip Hawking, he said about um, Silurians being like Game of Thrones. I like that idea, but I wouldn't want a Dalek or Simon spin-off. If there's going to be a main villain, it'd have to be the master for me. But yeah, I'm more... I'm the same here, like, because 
I, I did a video on it yesterday, but um, the new rumour of a spin-off focused on villains when they're not battling the Doctor, to me, I'm just a bit mad on it because I'm just not sure it would really work that well. I think the Master, a Master spin-off would work easily well. You could focus on the Master because he's an actual character. But I feel if you do it like a Dalek spin-off, it'd be more difficult to work because... You just can't have that same connection with all Doc 2 villains as you do with the Master. So I'm a bit sceptical on it, but surely if Russell's doing it, then he must believe it's right for the show. And I guess it's something different we've not really seen before, I suppose. Yeah, I, I think main one would for me, if we if I could pick a spin-off, would be a unit spin-off or like an ace spin-off, just because we've brought ace bat just like school union so we could have a thing like that but i feel like definitely a unit spin-off uh would be for me i feel yeah it'd be good to see like a unit spin-off or even uh, they could do a, a maybe like a reboot of torchwood or something like that maybe but i feel you know an ace adventure series would be great or even a series with mel bush because we know we pretty much know she's going to be involved in the 60th anniversary probably so if they can bring like a new series in Adventures CBBC type of show back. I, w- I would definitely be up for that. I feel that would work better than this pr- proposed villain series. Hopefully there's a bit more to it rather than just villains showing up and that's it. Yeah, I, I, I do hope that as well, to be fair. The final, final question to ask would be, why do you think David Tennant is back? Because we've not discussed that really yet. So why do you think David Tennant is the new Doctor? Do you think there's a reason? Do you think this is just... Because of the creator, because he said the Doctor would revisit familiar faces. What do you think the reason is for David um, coming back? Well, obviously, I think the lockdown had a big effect with obviously Donna and, well, Catherine Tate and David Tennant were like, oh, we should have done this. It could be cool to do this again as a joke. And then Russell become a big thing and joined them back in again. But um, within the show, uh, I think... It's definitely trickster related, I feel, but also it could also just be a de regeneration because of what the master put the doctor's body through or stuff like that. Like before this, I had the idea of the doctor confused her who she was, so she needed a familiar face to remind her of who she was, just like I guess using Peter's face to save someone. So that was my original idea, but now I feel it's definitely toy makery or whatever the master did. It traumatised the dog's body or whatever. They had the vibes on going off at the moment. But yeah, what about you? I think it's definitely something to do with the toy maker because obviously we know the toy maker is very powerful. They have a lot of powers, and it would just make sense that he would be able to bring an old doctor back as a new doctor. I just wondered the reason why he's chosen the tenth doctor to come back. I think it's it's probably to do with the doctor not wanting to go. Because out of all the incarnations, I believe it's only the 10th Doctor that ended their tenure with saying they don't want to go. They weren't ready for the regeneration. So I'm guessing the reason that David's face is back is because they're going to build on that and have the Doctor finally move on and have probably the 14th Doctor's last words be, I'm ready to go or something along those lines. Yeah, I I feel that definitely it's going to be more of acceptance. Because that was a critic back in the day, I think, as well. I can't remember it because I was, I was young, but I think there was some criticism saying, oh, he should have been more accepting uh, for Matt Smith to have an easier ride. Like, he should have been more accepting of going and stuff like that. Because he, he didn't want to go, it got a lot of fans going against Matt Smith and stuff like that. So I guess that might have been something Brussels took on board. But also, I feel like it, it, Jodie as well, her, her kind of not wanting to go as well. And then all of a sudden, another doctor that didn't want to go gets another chance. It's like, I guess, maybe hope for her. I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm just excited. I'm glad David's back. He is always the doctor to me. He's like, when someone says Doctor Who, I guess I get that image from Series 4 popping in my head of him. And yeah, it's exciting. It is a very exciting time, and all my, my friends who don't watch Doctor Who anymore, even they've said they'll come back for David Tennant because people just love his Doctor. To a lot of pe- fans, a lot of more of the general public, he is the default Doctor, and I think it's a wise strategy to get fan to get people back 
with David and then use him for them to stay on for Shooty's new Doctor and hopefully Shooty's Doctor will just be as popular as David is. I hope that's what they do because it would be a shame if they all left before Shooty got one. But knowing Russell, he'll be aware of this and he'll use David to get people to watch Shooty Gatwa's Doctor and hopefully he'll be just as popular and the show keeps going on strong. Couldn't agree more. It's definitely going to be... I feel like as well, it's like um, apparently they were going to end it to be continued sort of thing with a regenerating, which I think is always the best way if you're going to end the show is with the Doctor regenerating to look forward. But um, definitely there's a lot more all of a sudden to look forward to. You know, the Disney deals could bring spin-offs. You've got two Doctors already lined up. You've got past companions and a new companion. There's so much to look forward to and so much, like, to get excited about. It's just like, oh, I can't wait. And the future is definitely looking bright on that aspect. It's definitely like a really exciting time for the show and I just like how we're now getting news and stuff. I'm just glad this kind of like silence period is over because with the Chris Timmel era, we kind of all got used to when the show's not on air, it's silence, that's it. But now it feels with Russell, even though we're in a 13 month gap, it doesn't really feel like that because we're getting regular news and with filming about to start probably in the next two weeks or so, Hopefully that means we're just going to get even more news. I'd, I'd imagine we'll get Shooty Gatwa's costume reveal, otherwise it'll just leak. So hopefully that'll come soon. And yeah, it's just going to be a really exciting time for the show with Disney, spin-offs hopefully, and increased budget. It's going to be really good to see. Yep, couldn't agree more. It's going to be, uh, in the words of the Ninth Doctor, fantastic. <laughs> Great quote there. But yeah, um, thank you for coming on. As always, it's been a pleasure. Before you go, do you want to just tell the viewers a little bit about your channel? I'll leave a link to your channel in the description below. I definitely recommend go checking your channel out and subscribing. You, you do some great content. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I'm a big Doctor Who fan, as you know. Go Doctor Who. I do reviews, theories, top tens and rankings. Um, recently went to London Comic Con and met Jody, David and Matt. And Matt, so I've done a video on that, secretly recorded talking to Matt and David and put it up on YouTube. Uh, TikTok-wise as well, uh, Geeks Assemble. I do, I'm do. i currently watching Charmed and planning on reviewing that, doing Doctor Who stuff and, uh, yeah, doing a marathon, actually. I've been rev I'm on Series 5, I think, of Doctor Who and reviewing that on there. So there's a lot of Doctor Who stuff on TikTok as well, so... Go Doctor Who for YouTube and uh, Geeks Assemble for TikTok. Yeah. Great stuff. I definitely recommend go check out your channel. I'll leave a link to your TikTok as well because you, you do, you're really big on TikTok. You do, you do really well videos on there. So yeah, definitely recommend go checking you out. And I, I definitely sure we'll do more videos in the future when we get more news. And obviously next year in November, we have the TV anniversary, which will be great to see. So yeah, thank you for coming on and I'm sure we'll do more videos in the future. Thanks for having me as always. See you guys next time. No worries. So thanks guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. I don't know who I am anymore. Someone tell me what the hell is going on here.